Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. Today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, but a couple things not Dollar Tree, but I wanted to show you. Uh, first and foremost, I went to Target. I'm obsessed with this Mrs. Myers cleaner. And I picked up, this is the Snowdrop scent. Oh, it smells so good. I also have the Pine left over from last year. I use that kind of just at Christmas, but this is a more winter smell. And I have mint left over from last year. And these are $3.99. I love these. They are all natural, pet friendly, and they smell good, and it makes me want to clean more. I know, right? Okay, I went to Walmart, and I picked up just a couple things there. Um, I got this ooh, set that I'm going to use to decorate with a little... These are um, mini, mini ornaments. These were $1.98. They're wood, just like a chip wood, but they all say something different. These would be great gift tags. Ornaments on a little tree. Um, yeah, I think they're perfect. I love them. And they can be used in your tear tray or anything like that. So I grabbed those. And then I picked up two. Oh, those were $1.98. I grabbed two of these. Oh, flocked. Hold on, it was falling apart on me here. I think this is boxwood. Yeah, boxwood. It's green glitter boxwood. I'm super sad I only found the two. They were 98 cents a piece, but look how full that is. Sometimes you gotta get out of the Dollar Tree and look for your greenery, because they do have similar priced items at other stores, but these will definitely go somewhere. I just love boxwood, and especially this that has, this, I'm not sure if you're catching it or not. It's got a little bit of a glitter to it. And I'm just going to use that to decorate. And then I picked up this pick. Um, it's Santa. Oops. So this is not, oh, this was 98 cents. It, I'm going to pop it off the stick and use this to decorate. And probably a basket of some sort. But you could also just pop the stick off and then put an ornament hanger on it. I just love this one. Little Santa Claus. So I grabbed that, 98 cents. So really all the things I got mostly were a dollar, ouch, or less. Now, oh my knee. I will tell you, they had the four pack of the little trucks, if you've seen those, with the tree in the back. The exact ones that the Dollar Tree is selling for a dollar. They were $1.98 at Walmart. Um, but I'm thinking the ones at the Dollar Tree might be like seconds. So just check because the ones at Walmart didn't have any issues. I have not found them at my store yet, but from what I'm seeing on other people's videos, that you got to really look at them closely. So there's that. Um, I grabbed another mug. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I'm loving this poinsettia in the red and green. Um, this is for gifts. I do a lot of like little mug gifts to my coworkers maybe, and if they are any left, I'll keep them, but I liked that mug. Um, I will show you some mugs that I am keeping. I grabbed a 30 pack of these labels. I'm making today, it's cooling on the table behind me, pumpkin bread and pumpkin cookies. I'll insert a picture if I remember. For my coworkers, one for Halloween, I'm gonna put them in my freezer when everything is cool and I can package it. Um, a pumpkin loaf for Halloween day, because it's a work day and pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. I found the recipe, ooh, sorry. I found the recipe on Pinterest and it looks really good. And so I'm gonna bag everything up and label. And I just like these basic labels and for 30 of them for a dollar, you can't beat that. So I grabbed those. Oh, and I'm taking the other loaf. I made two pumpkin loaves and a double batch of cookies. I'm taking the other one to my PT, my physical therapy team. I've been released. Yay. I mean, I still can move my arm. It's a little sore still. It will be, I think, for a while. But it definitely, I'm much better than I was. And I just want to drop them off a little thank you. I grabbed another pack of these. I'm going to start grabbing them whenever I see them for different entertaining. I love to entertain. And these chalkboards are great, except for when you write on them, you really can't erase it. I mean, you can, but you can see behind it. So to me, and if I'm sticking it in food, these are disposable. So I like this shape. Whenever I see them, I'll just pick them up. I think I have in my, I have an entertaining tote in my garage that has like 
chargers and this type of stuff and the chalkboard that's set up to say what different things are. So I just toss these, all the different entertaining things in that tote. And then when I'm ready to have company over, which I definitely do around the holidays, then I can just pull the things out that I need. Um, I'm thinking of doing a charcuterie tray, charcuterie, charcuterie tray. And these will be great to label what each type of cheese or meat or whatever. So that is the plan for, oh, I'm putting them in the bag, but I don't want to. They're going in the garage. Put my cup in the bag. Then I went, now this is over a couple different trips to a couple different stores, but I found these. Um, let me see if I can get it apart. So it's a tray, it's a buck cookie container. I grabbed two of them with the red truck. At Christmas time, I do bring treats and stuff to work fairly regularly. I'm not necessarily giving these away. I think just to take the food in. So I grabbed two of them. I'm not sure if these are microwave dishwasher safe. No, not recommended for microwave and dishwasher. That's good to know, but I can hand wash them. But I think these would be awesome to just to bring cookies to work, things like that. Um, so I grabbed two while I saw them. I did not solve them while I saw them. And I love the truck, obviously. So I grabbed two of those. And they'll go in my garage as well. And I only picked up one of these. Um, it's the tea light holders. They had the snowman and a penguin. I'm going to tell you, the snowman was like brown. I don't know. That's just weird to me. So I just went with the Christmas tree. I like the kind of retro feel to it. You can put a candle behind it. It doesn't even have to be a tea light. That's pretty decent size. It could be one of those little little pillars that they sell. Or votive. I if Yeah, I would put them in a votive, like a glass votive holder, and put a votive candle back here. And that way the wax isn't getting all over it. But I think that's adorable. It's just a little Christmas tree. So I'll decorate with that. I've got stuff all over the place here, kids. I grabbed two of these for work, one for my chair and one for my neighbor. They're the Santa hats. Um, I don't know if they're gonna fit, so I didn't wanna grab any more, but I'll show my coworkers what we got and if they would like them too. But it's just the Santa hat that goes on the back. I'm thinking they're gonna fit the um, happy birthday one we get there, does fit our chairs, but I'm going to put a bell on it, maybe. No, I probably shouldn't. That will be annoying to my neighbors. So, I grabbed that. Um, I found these. Oh, I'm kind of, like I said, obsessed. Look at these little bags. And these are the small bags, and they come two packs. But look at the poinsettias in the gold foil. I don't even look at the sides. Oh, nice. The sides have some vertical striping, or some horizontal striping. And then the back bag, oh, look at, isn't that so pretty? It looks like a Fair Isle sweater to me. And then the side panels are just the same. So I grabbed one package of these with the poinsettia. And then look at this one. <gasps> Guys, isn't that so pretty? And the gold foil again is embossed. Um, oh, I like the sides. That is really pretty. And then the back one is just the big poinsettia, 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 I don't know. And the sides on this one, oh nice, is the Fair Isle striping that matches as well. So these are great. These are perfect size gift bags for Bath and Body Works or some makeups, you know, things like that. They're not overly large, uh, but these are a good size. I don't think they give us the measurements. Oh yeah, they do. I'm just wrong all over the place. These are six and a half by eight and a half inches. So a little smaller than a piece of paper, if that helps you to see. But I'm enjoying these and I may have to get a couple more. And they're a nice quality too for being a doll. And these are definitely a Dollar Tree brand. They are the, um, they're Greenbrier, part of the Christmas house collection, but they're nice and, and thick. And I like that in a gift bag. So I grabbed two of those. Two packs, so that's four. I picked up three of these. I tend to buy these depending what I'm making for my lunches for the week. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna put a tote out in the garage with different sizes of these containers. Um, 
my Tupperware some just doesn't hold everything and I'm doing ribs this week and I needed something bigger to hold a couple ribs along with my um, cauliflower mac and cheese. So I grabbed the three packs of these and then I'll just put my lunch in it, take it, come home, wash it. And then I put them out in the garage in a tote that has like the bigger size um, Tupperware type containers for my lunches. Um, just because I need different, like I said, I need different sizes. And if I plan on cooking for my freezer, then I need other containers as well. These would also hold cookies for the freezer, which is perfect. I picked up some loot bags and these are just clear loot bags. And these are for the cookies and for the pumpkin bread that I'm making and taking. If I remember when I package them up, I'll do a quick add-on video at the end to show you what it looks like inside. Now for the bread, it's cooling. I will wrap it in plastic wrap and then stick it in here. Um, the cookies I'll just stick in here and make sure it's sealed nice and tight. I'll put a pretty bow and then I'll stick it in my freezer until... Wednesday night, so Wednesday's the 30th, I'm working at my part-time job, which is why I'm doing this now. I'm putting them in the freezer. So for Thursday, I just need to remember to grab them out of my freezer and take them right to work and while it'll thaw or I could take it out Wednesday before I go to work and stick it in the refrigerator and the bread will thaw and the cookies will be fine. They'll thaw super fast. And then Friday morning, I'm going to the doctor. I'm off on Friday. I just have a physical with my um, endocrinologist, a diabetes checkup. And so I took the day off because I have some time to burn before the end of the year. And I will probably go to P the PT place before I go downtown just so everybody can have a chance which they all come in at different hours. So anyway, all that to say, I'm putting treats in these bags. And you get 20 of them, which is not a bad deal. I do like those. When I see them, I try to stock up. And then the last bag that I, because I'm a mess, guys, I picked up one pack of these and I may get another. These are wired garland ties. And if you see the picture here, you use these to like tie things up so they are wired. You get 12 pieces. What I use them for is decorating. I make little wreaths out of them, like small wreaths and just wire them together and put a pretty bow on it to, uh, you know, to put on other other items, but uh, small ones. So these are great to have on hand. I grabbed one package. I probably should have grabbed two, but that's fine. I'll find them again. They have these every year, um, but I enjoy them a lot for crafting. And they're great. Uh, last year, I took them and I made a full-size wreath, so it was about this big, and I hung them on all my cabinets in my kitchen, which I thought was super fun. I found, I'm so excited, the Red Truck Coffee Cup. Oh, I have the camera a different direction today. Look at that, guys. And these are not bad. I use these every year, and then I typically toss them just because I use it every single day. Um, I would say this is probably 24 ounces if I had to guess. Um, yeah. I mean, it doesn't keep your coffee super hot, I'm not going to lie. And it says that it's not recommended for use in the microwave or dishwasher, but I know that I have stuck it in the microwave. I'm probably going to die from, like, plastic poisoning or something, but it's cute and it's worth it. So I grabbed the red truck. The other ones I saw were repeats from last year, and I probably have another one of these in with my Christmas decor when I pull that out, but not a red truck. Not the red truck. I found this one. I'm super excited, and this is definitely sitting on my coffee bar um, because it has all the coffee cups on it. But again, and they're stackable, so I have three of the four. I have not found the red truck one yet, which I don't have to have everything red truck. But I like that it's airtight, and I'm telling you probably what will end up in here are tea bags. Because I do a lot of tea in the winter and the evenings, because I just love to have hot liquids, I guess. I don't know. But I'm definitely keeping this. And then the other ones, I most likely will gift cookies in to, like, single people that I know. Because I think this is a perfect size for a couple, like, one or two people. I wouldn't give a whole family's worth in here, but I would definitely give, like, one or two. And I have some neighbors that I give, um cookies too. Oh, 
sorry, that was my foot again, that I have, that I give cookies to. I found another set of mugs. One of these is mine, and one is a gift for someone, but it's the snowman. They come out every year, but they are so hard to find. I feel like I have one, but I'm not sure. And this mumbo jumbo is huge. This is a giant cup of coffee or tea, and it's a snowman, so it's good all winter. And I gave them all away, I think, last year. So I got one for myself and then one to give away. And something like this, I would probably fill it full of cookies, tie it off with a pretty bow, and like put a bag of cookies in here because it's that big. I mean, this thing is huge. And give it to a neighbor or my niece or somebody that I know is a coffee drinker. But this one's mine. One of them is mine. One is a gift. And then the last... Yeah, the last things I picked up, I am creating, I'm a, I'm a day planner. I'm a planner girl. I have a planner. I have a bullet journal. And this year, I've been working in both. But next year, I'm combining the two into one. I know, everybody cares about this. But um, part of the thing is I use the happy planner. So I bought on Etsy that I could print off my month at a glance because that's really what I want is a month at a glance. I don't want the weekly, daily spreads because I just don't use it. I need a visual of my whole month while I'm scheduling things. So I bought those. I printed them off already. And then the planner notes, the happy planner notes comes with the dot grid paper so I can bullet journal and plan in the same. And I'm not carrying around two separate books. So at the Dollar Tree, because that's what we're talking about, I grabbed these sticker sets. These are for their planners. These came in their planner sets. And this one is Seasons, and it says Birthday Celebrate, and then it has the holidays all listed on little stickers. And I'm assuming, yeah, so it's, New Year, St. Patrick's Day, Labor Day, Valentine's Day, all the different holidays, and you get two sets of that page. And then you have your month stickers, which I'm gonna show you that they're gonna go with something. And you get two of those. And then you just get these little stickers. Now this is the season one, so you get six pages, three different sets of stickers, which is nice. And then this one is Home Life. This is a green briar for sure. And this one has done birthday, just different, different things you do at home, um, weekend plans, celebrate. They're just for the smaller planner, which my planner is smaller. And then appointments and bills and things like that. So I grabbed one of each, which is plenty. And then I grabbed these. Um, tabs. We're going to see if I can make them work. I actually grabbed two of them. I'm going to show you what you do. If you're creating your own planner like me, this is sticky on the inside. These little things stick and you add this to the edge of your paper and you get a tab. And then I can take the month sticker aha, from over here and trim it to fit. So you have your months and your, well, that's not the months. Where's my months? Oh, I think my months are in the seasons. That's the days of the week. So yeah, you take your month sticker and they fit, I'm assuming, on one of these. Yeah, they do. And this sticks to your piece of paper. Now, their color scheme doesn't quite go with my color scheme, but I think I can make it work. So I grabbed two packages of these, so I have 24 to work with, if I choose to use the tabs, which I haven't decided yet. But you get three of these with the polka dots. You get three of this one, it's like blue and floral. I know this will go with several of my month spreads that I'm using. Can I get that to focus, please? <laughs> can you see it? I hope so. And then I have a stripes and a yellow. Come on. There we go. And you have three of each of those. So between them, and this is the only patterns that they have, but I think between them I should be able to make it work. What I did, and I will take you on a tour of it in December when I'm finished with the setup, but I went and bought the eight and a half by 11 scrapbook paper 
that is printed on one side and plain on the other and I printed my month at a glance so each month has a printed front and back and then when I open up my planner it lays flat I have a month at a glance that's what I need to keep myself organized between YouTube my other jobs and my full-time job and people's birthdays and holidays and blah 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 all right guys i've been yamming on for 20 minutes now you guys have a good one and i will talk to you later